told you. If I gave you this simple substance derived from either apples or green tomatoes, that I actually can increase your muscle mass by at least 10% in 60 days. Or even better, let's up the ante. What if I told you if you took this substance from either apples or green tomatoes, I could increase your muscle strength by 30% in that exact same time period? You'd say, uh, this guy is losing it a little bit. There's no possible way that can happen. Well, if you're an elderly mouse, yes, very possible. Let's get right into the research because this stuff is kind of cool because it may have a strong impact and affecting a lot of the age-related muscle loss that occurs in mentally very elderly. And we're not talking about exercising and things like that. We're just talking a simple substance derived from either apples or green tomatoes. But to proceed forward to this intriguing research, says, Keeping Older Muscle Strong, published September 8, 2015. It was originally published, I think, in the Journal of Biochemistry, this September 3rd, obviously, 2015. Also, let's quote the research. Scientists at the University of Iowa have discovered the first example of a protein, I keep in mind this story will come together, that causes muscle weakness and loss during aging. This nasty protein, a transcription factor, is called ATF4. When it goes up, your muscles kind of like age. When it goes down, muscles become young again. But to go forward, the protein ATF4 is a transcription factor that alters gene expression in skeletal muscle, causing reduction of muscle mass, synthesis, strength, and mass. All right, I must have repeated myself twice now. Evil stuff. Just remember ATF4. You don't want a lot of it. It says, the UI study also identified two natural compounds, one found in apples and one found in green tomatoes, which reduce this evil ATF4 activity and aids skeletal muscle. Now, to go a little further into the study, this is how powerful this stuff, this stuff actually is. And again, it's there in front of you. It's in the food. Of course, not a more concentrated amount, but let's proceed forward. In their latest study, Adam's team found that ursalic acid and tomatidine, tomatidine or tomatidine, please forgive me on the mispronunciation, dramatically reduced age-related muscle weakness and atrophy in mice. Dramatically is an under, understatement. Let's proceed forward. Elderly mice with age-related muscle weakness and atrophy were fed diets lacking or containing, makes you want to think of your own diet, for apples and green tomatoes, containing either 0.27% ursalic acid, Right from apples and or I should say or not and 0.05% tomatidine or tomatidine for two months just two months and again to reiterate the fascinating results the scientists found that both compounds increased muscle mass by 10% scored in the research and more importantly increased muscle quality or strength by 30 percent. Remember, this isn't aged mice, but still, regardless of that, we're talking a 30 percent increase. And to proceed forward once again, the size of these effects suggests that the compounds largely restored muscle mass and strength to young adult levels. We're just talking the consumption of a dietary compound. Not any special training regime or anything like that, which obviously does help. We're just talking the simple consumption of elements found in food, reversing age-related muscle loss. To proceed forward, this is what they said, by reducing the evil ATF4, I'm sure it does something good someplace, but for now, with regards to the muscle, by reducing ATF4 activity, erosolic acid and tomatidine or tomatidine allowed the skeletal muscle to recover from the effects of aging. Seem to appear, appear to be very safe very available compounds and ursolic acid. You can find them from some health food stores. Tomatidine or tomatidine, uh, I haven't seen available as of yet. But incredibly powerful food derived substances that actually, at least found in animals so far, reverse the effects of aging on muscle. This is Ralph Turciano signing off once again, and I truly hope that you find this of some help. Thank you.